Here's a look at the latest events happening in retirement planning. Brought to you by JenniferLangFinancialServices.com, where we help American workers and small business owners prepare and protect their retirement portfolios from stock market loss. We specialize in annuities, 401k and IRA rollovers, indexed universal life insurance, and small business owner 401k retirement plans. Please remember to click the like button and subscribe to catch all of our financial news and retirement planning updates. Retirees collecting Social Security benefits get hit in two ways when it comes to inflation. First, the Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA, typically doesn't keep up with Medicare payment adjustments, and second, income levels above which retiree benefits are taxed haven't been raised to match price and income growth. The combination, a Center for Retirement Research at Boston College paper states, means that inflation continues to eat away at Social Security benefits despite the yearly COLA. The paper. The Impact of Inflation on Social Security Benefits, by Alicia H. Munnell, director of the CRR, and Patrick Hubbard, a research associate, notes that this year could see the largest COLA in nearly 40 years. And although that's good, the paper highlights inflation's erosion factor when it comes to Social Security benefits. As of the July Consumer Price Index, the annual Social Security COLA is estimated to be 6.2%, the highest since 1983. The actual increase for 2022 won't be released until October, and is based on the third quarter average of the CPI, July was the first month of the third quarter. The rub is that Medicare Part B premiums, for physician and outpatient services, are typically deducted from Social Security benefits before the check is sent to the recipient. And though, typically, benefits are increased each year, so too are Medicare Part B premiums. And the difference is the issue. From 2000 to 2020, the average annual adjustment of the Medicare Part B premium has been 5.9%, but the average annual increase to the Social Security COLA has been 2.2% over the same period. For example, the paper notes, if the average benefit is $1,900 per month, and the Medicare Part B premium is $150, the net for the beneficiary is $1,750 to spend on food, shelter, and other expenses. But if the COLA rises 2.2%, while the Medicare Part B premium rises 5.9%, the benefit would rise to $1,941, while Medicare Part B rises to $159 and a net benefit of $1,782 or 1.8% 1 more than the original $1,750, which doesn't keep up with the average inflation rate. The authors state that this difference is more dramatic over a longer period of time. Over a 30-year period, while benefits may increase nominally from $1,900 to $3,600 or 89%, the net benefit rises $1,750 to $2,800 or 60%. Instead of a 2.2% annual increase, the net benefit rises only 1.6%. The authors note that this impact is even greater for high-income individuals because their premiums constitute a larger share of their Social Security benefits. Currently, individuals making less than $25,000 and married couples filing jointly making less than $32,000 pay no taxes on their Social Security benefits. Above those thresholds, recipients pay taxes on up to 85% of their benefits on the difference between $25,000 and their adjusted gross income. But these thresholds are not increased on either wage or price growth, the researchers state, meaning that every year, more beneficiaries are being taxed on their Social Security benefits. The paper states that in 1983, when the tax on benefits was introduced, only 8% of eligible families had to pay taxes. Today, that has jumped to 56%. Under moderate inflation, that percentage is projected to increase to 58% by 2030, the authors note. This again shows an erosion of net benefits. The researchers conclude that these two factors undermine the automatic indexing provision of COLA, noting that first, rising Medicare premiums mean that a larger and larger chunk of the Social Security benefit goes to health insurance, so the net benefit available for non-health expenditures does not keep pace with inflation. Second, they state, a personal income tax with unindexed thresholds for benefit taxation means that wage growth and inflation will subject an increasing portion of Social Security benefits to taxation. In short, even Social Security does not fully insulate older households from inflation's erosive impact. Let's take a look at the Browns. The Browns and the Smiths are married couples 
who have each determined they'll need $70,000 in annual retirement income. The Browns claim their Social Security benefits early and receive $24,000 in benefits each year. To make up the shortfall of income that they need to cover their everyday expenses, they also withdraw $46,000 from an IRA each year. The Smiths, on the other hand, delayed claiming their Social Security retirement benefits and therefore receive a higher annual benefit of $40,000. They withdraw just $30,000 from an IRA annually to fund the rest of their living expenses. The Browns' provisional income is $58,000. $46,000 in IRA withdrawals, plus one half of their Social Security benefits, or $12,000. The Smiths' provisional income is $50,000. $30,000 in IRA withdrawals, plus one half of their Social Security benefit, or $20,000. Because the Browns withdraw more IRA income than the Smiths, their provisional income is higher, which will ultimately cause a greater portion of their Social Security benefits to be taxed. The result? The Browns will pay more in taxes each year than the Smiths, and the higher tax bill could adversely impact and shrink the Browns' portfolio over time. If you are concerned about rising taxes and inflation, if you are in the red zone and you are 5 to 10 years away from retirement, if you are concerned about stock market downturns, and if you are concerned about rising health care costs in retirement, then an annuity may be the key to a secure and comfortable retirement. It helps to have a plan to achieve a more secure future. Get your free annuity quote today. Tax-deferred solutions such as fixed index annuities are safe from stock market loss and provide you with protected growth. Lifetime income. A death benefit for your family and liquidity. At jenniferlangfinancialservices.com, we work with over 25 of the top life insurance carriers to find you the best rate. Let us put our expertise to work and find you the best annuity for your age, time horizon, and goals. Get started today. Please remember to hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons to stay up to date on the latest retirement and financial planning news.